So I get hundreds and hundreds of inquiries from people who want to change their pronunciation. And uh, a lot of them express their um, anxiety that it's just a fantasy that they have or that it's something that's completely unachievable. And uh, they say things like, you know, surely I'm too old to be changing my pronunciation or I'm not very musical or, you know, haven't got a good ear or I'm not good at learning languages. Um, or I've been living in this country and I've been speaking English for many, many, many years and I still haven't been able to change my pronunciation. And I guess as with everything in life, there are, you know, a lot of people who say, no, it's not possible. You know, the older that you get, um, the less able you are to pick up new skills, to learn new things. And uh, some of those people have a lot of, you know, academic uh, prowess and a lot of uh, research and um, statistics. and. But there are a, a, a huge number of people who would say, yes, it is absolutely possible. And they too come with a weighty pile of, you know, um, academic research and, and statistics. Um, a good one for the, for the no pile uh, is, uh, I read a, an article in, um, in the ninth edition of um, a languages magazine called Babel, published in 2009, no, November 2009. And it says that um, it's quite unlikely that an older uh, adolescent or adult starter um, would be able to achieve a perfect native accent and use it consistently in natural circumstances. And it goes on to provide a whole load of statistics and uh, research that was carried out um, and is pretty convincing, you know. Um, but it, it's interesting that it uses the word um, quite unlikely. So it's not sort of, can't be very um, uh, absolute about whether it is or is not possible. Um, and then um, uh, one for the yes uh, pile um, is some research that's actually been going on since the 60s into something called neuroplasticity. Uh, neuroplasticity. Which is, uh, which is research into the fact that the brain is this ever-evolving and changing thing. And um, there was an article in the Guardian newspaper about this time last year, and it said that the brain is actually a highly dynamic structure which changes itself in response to new experiences and adapts to injur injury. So, uh, the, you know, the old adage, you can't teach a, an old dog new tricks, um, it suggests is not so true and that the, the brain is this sort of elastic thing that keeps evolving and changing um, with new experiences and, and um, new things that it wants to learn. Um, and I guess whatever the, you know, the academic uh, research and the papers that are published, um, the empirical data from uh, voice coaches like me and the thousands and thousands of people um, that people like me have coached, um, but also actors and um, people like impressionists, um, says that it is possible. You know, it might take a bit of time, it might take a lot of energy and, um, and, and a bit of courage, but with the right sort of guidance and with determination, um, it is something that is, you know, that's possible. And, uh, and I was, when I was thinking about this, I was reminded of a, um, a, a video um, uh, that someone sent me uh, a couple of years ago about, um, about the, facts of the fact that chimps can change their accent. I know it sounds really strange, but um, there was this, uh, I've put this uh, little blog post um, down below, a little video that you can watch. Um, and it talks about how a community of chimps who um, were based in a Dutch zoo um, had a very high-pitched call when they were calling for apples. Um, it's like a very high-pitched scream. And they were moved to, uh, to a, a zoo in Scotland. And the, the, the chimps in the zoo in Scotland had this particularly low grunt uh, when, it wanted, when they wanted um, apples. And apparently, after about two years, the chimps from this um, Dutch zoo uh, changed their accent, they called it, changed their accent, changed their call to a much deeper, lower, slower grunt, which was more like their, um, their, um, the, the chimps in the, in the uh, zoo in Scotland. And so, you know, if, if primates can do it, then surely, 
you can do it, surely we can do it as human beings. So uh, I would uh, encourage you to have, you know, uh, conviction in your, uh, you know, in yourself and, and to really go for it and believe in your potential and, uh, you know, get the right sort of guidance and, um, you know, and achieve this thing that you want to achieve. So if you're watching this video anywhere other than my website, um, englishpronunciationroadmap.com, head over there. Um, there's some free stuff you can download. Uh, there's a load more blog posts that you can have a look at. Um, remember to scroll down now and leave me, um, uh, leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Just give me some sort of reaction and, um, and I'll speak to you soon.